Hello everyone, um, I have a little encouragement for someone, um, whoever wants to listen to it, uh, I'll be grateful that you listen to what I had to say, something God's laid on my heart, um, I've procrastinated on doing this because I don't do these things, um, <laughs> I battled with myself last night and thankfully Kelsey, uh, it's a good encouragement uh, telling me that I can do it and then I'll be good at it so um, here we go uh, hope this helps you uh, so with this whole COVID-19 corona deal is kind of what this is all about um, I hear a lot of people talking about uh, that this is the end times the beginning of the end or or whatever it should be I don't know the whole depths of the end times, never studied the end times, and I know a little bit, but not enough to say anything about it, um, other than these few things, um, you, a lot of these people that are saying stuff about the end times, I feel that they are trying to, uh, scare someone to salvation, and you can't do that. Um, if you try to scare someone to salvation, it's like the parable of the seed that Jesus talks about in Mark um, 4. Um, one of the seeds is a seed that's cast on stony ground. And it says when the sun comes up, it is scorched because the roots didn't go deep. Uh, into the ground it didn't have good soil to to grow on and it's pretty much saying that when bad times come they can't withstand the bad times because um, they didn't have good soil to grow on and the good soil that you grow on is to love someone to salvation not scare them to salvation um, Whenever you love someone to salvation, they always have this hope that they can come to, uh, especially the people that led them to salvation. They know they can come back to them and be encouraged. Uh, when you scare someone to salvation, you just, you lose that. As soon as you get them to salvation, that's it. And they, then from that point forward, you're th they're all they can think of is, oh, if I go talk to them, they're going to just scare me back into what I need to do and a lot of times they won't come back and that's not um that's just my opinion um and that's why I've done this video is um uh, to hopefully to help somebody who has been scared um cause you don't have to be scared God is a good God and he's with us he's promise us that he would never leave us nor forsake us um and so I've been reading in Acts 6 and 7 which is uh where the disciples they were in a bind uh they needed to spread the gospel the good news to everyone uh but they only knew one language and there's only 12 of them to do a huge job to spread the excuse me, to spread, to spread the gospel to the whole world. And so they had chose a handful of people to um, spread the word also. Um, Stephen is a guy that was chosen. And Stephen was a martyr. Uh, he had spread the good news so, so well that he had proved people wrong and so these people had come up against him a lot like Jesus um, even though he was doing right uh, they didn't like it um, and so when they set him down in front of the council scripture says and they gazed at him all who sat in the council saw that his face was like the face of an angel so they knew that it was God but they looked past it and so uh 
Stephen started giving a speech, and part of his speech was talking about the patriarchs of the Old Testament, um, Abraham, Joseph, Moses, just David, a couple people like that, or you know, a handful of people like that. And the one that really struck for me, and that God had really laid on my heart to share with you that's listening, um, is that Joseph in the Old Testament, uh, was a man that was his dad's favorite. His brothers despised him. So they sold him into slavery. Um, and then whenever his brothers came back home, his family was um, heartbroken because they, they were told that, his, that Joseph was killed. And Joseph was betrayed by his brothers. Um, went into Egypt and had good handful of things happened to him that wasn't the best uh, long story short once he got into Jos or once he got into Egypt um, Pharaoh uh, was ruler king of the whole land of Egypt and Joseph um, was chosen through a, over a period of time to be ruler right underneath Pharaoh he was able to do almost anything. I don't know if he was able to do everything, but he was able to do a lot of stuff. Well, if a great famine came across the land, and uh, Joseph's family was still alive and well, and they came to Egypt looking for food. They didn't recognize Joseph, but Joseph recognized them, and he summoned his whole family there after a period of time. And he saved his family. Um, God's whole purpose of this was to um, save the Israelites and the Jewish people from death. That part of his family, um, because of the famine, that's why Joseph had to go through what he went through. And that's why his family had to go through what they went through. And the same thing is, uh, same messages for us today. Uh, with this whole COVID-19 coronavirus um, we just need to remember that God is with us he promises that he would never leave us nor forsake us through any famine through any tribulation um, that all things will work together for God's good for his glory and if we stand on that promise that God has gave us then we'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. In the end of the tunnel. But if we stand in this fear that the end is near, or uh, or whatever, then we start thinking, what can I save? What can I um, hoard, or whatever? And then it, it takes you off on this whole other level of. You, you start living survivally and you can't do that you have to live by faith if you stand on faith instead of fear God will lead you through it and he'll will guide you through it and he'll see you, uh, or he'll show you something greater through all of it but if you stand on fear instead of faith then um, you'll start doing all these crazy things and saying all these crazy things God don't want us to live in fear. Um, he wants us to stand boldly for Him and just grow closer to Him. Um, and that's what He wants us to do. One of the things that I've learned through this whole COVID-19 is that family is essential and the time with Him is even more essential. And we need to cherish that moment. Um, just grow closer to them and maybe one of the things and I know this is one of the things that he's done for us is we gotta grow closer to him we gotta look to him for all these things um, that we're that we're lacking and a lot of people have lost that and maybe that's what God's trying to, to show us um, in Genesis 12 1 through 3 it says one of the first promises of God uh, to us was to Abraham but still available to us is uh, now the Lord said to Abraham or Abram go forth from your country from your relatives and from your father's house 
to the land in which I will show you. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, and so you shall be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you I will curse, and in you all the families of the earth will be blessed. That's a promise from God. In Genesis, all the way in the very first book of the Bible, God promises to bless you. And to stand on that, know that even if it is the end times or whatever, um, that God plans to bless you. And the people that come against you through all this is God will curse them. I mean, it says it right there in Genesis. He said, I'll bless you and I'll bless those who bless you and I will curse those who curse you. So just, um, if you're listening to this, thank you. Um, I hope this helps you. Just believe that God is is doing something good. Just trust him and uh, don't listen to the lies of the enemy. Um, John 10.10 10 says that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. But if you look at the second verse, or second part of that verse, he said he come to give us life more abundantly. And that's what we need to stand on. Um, stand on faith, not fear. Um, be strong and courageous. And uh, just trust God. Um, so, hope this helped you. Um, don't know that it's all right. Don't know that it's all wrong. I know it's not wrong. I've done some studying, so I know a little bit. <laughs> um. But anyways, um, if you have a question about salvation or anything, um, if you're scared or you don't know what salvation is or whatever, feel free to message me, comment, uh, call, text me, whatever you want to do. And uh, I'm here for you. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.